Can you say Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Mama going to the Super Bowl. Uh, Super Hello, hello. I just stopped for a little tea. I'm waiting for Sam and Wolfie and we are going to have dinner. But if you are watching this, that is a good thing because that means that I have successfully uploaded, therefore edited, both playoff vlogs. I've been back in London for like four days now and have not had a second to edit because I've been working since I got back. This should be my third vlog of 2024. Hope you all are doing very well. I am on the lookout for my two men. We're supposed to meet for dinner. I just finished up at Sky Sports today. Yeah, they did my hair and makeup. Wearing this nice suit. Feeling cute. Yeah, last night I went to Sam's game. That was really fun. I also did my BetMGM show and just kind of catching up, like still unpacking, still doing laundry, still getting back on the time. I've been super sleepy in the afternoons. I hate to admit when I'm jet lagged, but I'm jet lagged going to Hawksmoor, which is a lovely steakhouse in Canary Wharf where we used to live. So, let me stop talking to you and focus on that. Hi! I saw like your reflection in something. He's been requesting seeing videos of himself lately. <laughs> Which Sam said. It's like his mama. It's like his mama. <laughs> so that's what you think? Super big football game. It is. Do they have my size? Statement. I'm bedazzled. Beautiful day, walking to church. Hi. Oh boy, loves his new church. We came here a lot when he was a baby, but now he has a little children's play group. And he does not want to leave. Wolfie, we have to go. This church goes back to 1730, which is older than America. Bye. Backwards on tummy. We are watching the Chiefs game. Sorry, the Taylor Swift Bowl. We're having sausage rolls, our favorite food. I just opened this wine from a Christmas hamper we got from Selfridges. And it's pretty good. I was wanting a red, and we don't have one, which I am disappointed in, but beggars can't be choosers. But no, if we like went to the park or something the day before, and he knows I took a cute video of him, the first thing in the morning the next day is he asked to see it. He'll say, Wolfie, oh, park, I see. We make such a, a conscious effort to not be on our phones a lot around him, like we really do. But he sees us filming him, which every parent does. Okay. He wants to watch his highlights. He wants to watch a replay. So, watch how easy this is. Wolfie, it's time for night night. Okay. Time for night night. Also, he slept till 8 a.m. this morning and took a three and a half hour nap this afternoon. I am winning. He's so good. Like, I don't think we can take credit for how well he sleeps. Three days together, just him and me. Um, Sam gets home late tonight from a tournament in Birmingham. Birmingham, England. So I'm so glad we've had the quality one-on-one -on -one time. Okay, he's gonna take his bike. Bike to room. I'll see you in there. I love him. Just got him down. Cheers to a long three days of momming alone. Today you're like, oh. That was a lot. And right when you get him down, that's kind of when you go to work on cleaning up whatever just happened. Like, ugh, the whole room's just a mess. So Sam gets home in a couple hours. 
and I want the house very clean when he gets back, almost to make a point because it wasn't that clean when I got back. So I want to show him that yes, you can be home alone with the baby while also doing some work and clean the house. God forbid. I actually talk about this. Well, I have him down and him still not here. My two hymns are gone. So I posted on my Instagram a reel about how I felt leaving for those 12 days for NFL playoffs, a topic I've talked plenty about on here, and um, how I was really, really loving the work, but 12 days was way too long away from my baby. That was the longest we'd ever been apart, and how I just was feeling like pretty unlike myself at the end. Um, like almost instinctually just kind of eye on the prize, get me back to my kid, get me back to my kid. Um, and I mean, 12 days is just too long. It's too long. He's not even two yet. Um, it, it, that's not at all the type of setup I want. And so I posted this reel to one of my favorite Billie Eilish songs, What I Was Made For. So yeah, it was kind of like moody, but like it was meant to be inspiring of people who are in that in-between of, man, I love my job, but I'm also kind of ready to start my family. Maybe that would inspire them. Maybe it's a mom who gave up her job because she had kids and now it's kind of like, oh, I'm not sure if that was the right choice and wants to go back. Maybe not at all. I don't care if you work, stay home, whatever you want to do. I was raised by a stay-at-home mom. I'm sure at some point I'll stop working. I, I want to read some of them because they're horrible. Like, I cannot believe someone would say that to someone else, let alone a mom saying that to another mom. I thought we're all kind of supposed to be in the same space here, like on the same side. When women are all like, women should lift each other up, like women helping women, mamas helping mamas. <laughs> you guys are the worst. I swear, moms online are the meanest group of individuals on the, online. I have nothing against stay-at-home moms, my god. It's, I don't feel like I even need to say that. But my reel was shared in some, my guess is a Facebook page, um, some forum, some Instagram something, in a very polarized, kind of angry, um, stay-at-home mom tribe. And boy, did they come after me. The comments I got on this reel, and they all came at once. Like, the reel had been up, like, over 24 hours. A million nice comments from people I know, people I don't know, that were just saying the nicest things that, like, felt really empowering to keep going, which I loved. And then I knew it had gotten shared somewhere because I just got flooded with mean comments all on the same page. This was my first taste of it. Someone said, if you loved your job so much that you choosing that over your husband and family, then you shouldn't have had one, like a child. Educate yourself on what you're doing to your child by not being there for the first three years of life. Put it however you want. You are choosing your career over your family, including your child. From ages zero to five, a baby wasn't meant to be separated from mama for more than several hours. It negatively impacts him to be away from her. Zero to five? You don't want me to be away from him for a couple hours? You've lost your marbles. They got me so mad. Um, and my sister too. By the way, my sister with three kids is a stay-at-home mom. She was going at all these people. She's going to regret it. This makes me so sad. They're only little for a few years. I'm not trying to mom shame, but imagine he looks back on this video and sees that you choose sports over him. I said back, would you say that my husband is choosing sports over him? It's just both both of our jobs, our dream jobs, by the way, that we worked really hard for. And yeah, you are mom shaming. It's a mama job to provide and protect. It's a mother's job to nurture and be incessantly present. That is undeniable truth. No matter how much you try to make yourself feel better, reporting will go in without you. Your child won't. It's a man's job to provide and protect. I like this, Sam said. Fuck them. You're a perfect mom. Wolfie and I know that. That's all that matters. I love you. Someone said, As a mother, this is one of the most depressing things I've seen on Instagram. Your heart aches for your child, but you choose to stay away. I just will never understand that. And I commented back, So do you want both me and his dad to stop working and stay home? That doesn't sound very good for his future. 
Women are natural nurturers. It's why God designed them to grow in our bodies. Someone said, the people in your career and job don't like, likely don't care as much as you think they do. Someone said, you will miss too much, I promise you. Sincerely, a mom with tremendous regret. That one's really sad. Depressing. Someone said, he's so little, he needs his mama. And I said, and he has his mama, just not when I'm on a work trip. Oh, and then she said back. Then correction, he needs a present mama. Mm, bitch. And I said, respectfully, do you also think my husband should stop working and stay home? Because as a pro basketball player, he works every day and travels frequently 12 months a year. I work a couple days a week, mostly at home, and travel for some NFL games during the season, which is just six months. Is that okay with you? I'm with my kid a lot more than most working moms, and for that, I'm really grateful. And she said, not at all. I do believe that it's the woman's duty to be the keeper of the home and the man's duty to be the provider. I agree, it's lovely that you're able to be with your babe a lot more than most, but I can also say that I don't believe mothers should work if hubby is. Mothering and keeping the home is a full-time job in and of itself. It's your calling. Someone else can easily replace you in your job, but no one can replace you to your son. It's easy to see you're a good mama. Thank you. And you want the best for your son. But society's misguided notions have convinced you that your son will be proud of you for doing this, when in reality, it's just teaching him instability is the norm. He can't always count on you being there for him. In several weeks each year, he's not important enough to be kept on the front burner. I said back. This is Miss Daisy Davis. You're right about one thing. Keeping a house is a full-time job. So imagine doing both. I work for three networks and keep our home. I'm exhausted, girl. It's okay that we don't agree on this. But I don't appreciate you hopping on my page and being rude about what my family is choosing. And she said back. My comment wasn't rude, though. It was critical. But it certainly wasn't rude. As mothers, we should be able to call each other out if we see us doing something harmful to our children. I'm not saying you're abusive. I'm simply pointing out that it's harmful behavior whether we can justify it or not. And my sister commented, Why do you follow her then? Get a fucking life. <laughs> to her last comment, when she even used the word abusive. Okay, you've officially crossed the line with this comment. Just stay off my page, please. The only abusive thing is a total stranger telling me I'm harmful to my son, dot, 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 for working. I'm not deleting this thread so people can see how acrimonious and unkind people like you are about this topic. Someone said, you'll never regret time spent raising your own children. You will regret having others raise them for you, though. Bitch. And my sister said, <laughs> I love that my sister got involved in this. No one else is raising her children. Bye. Someone said, please rethink this. Your baby will only be this age once. You can never get him back. And I kind of replied to some of them, and then I realized I can't reply to all of them. My DMs are still so full, I like, can't even look at it. It's overwhelming. From a lot of people supporting me, like a lot of my friends even, who like we don't even DM each other coming out. Um, I got so many texts from so many friends and guys, like my guy friends. I'm like, I feel like m more people are more offended for me than I am. For example, my sister, the one who was like all up in on the comments, which is awesome. She just so had my back. She's never told me in person that she thinks I'm a great mom, that I'm crushing it, that I'm doing well. She's never paid me a compliment like that, which is just not really in her nature. She's not, she's not too warm and fuzzy, which I would say to her face. Um, we're really, really close, but she's not like mm, warm and fuzzy and gives you a bunch of compliments. Just not who she is. And but I've wanted to hear that from her because she has three kids. You know, her opinion on the subject matters to me. And in the comments, she was saying to total strangers while having my back, she's an amazing mom. Like, you could never be the type of mom she is. Um, you just don't have the talent and blah, blah, that she does too. Like, <laughs> she went after them. I'm so grateful that my career has been able to adapt with different stages of life, where we've lived, what I've needed to do. But to me, what I'm gonna remember from this whole ordeal is her saying that stuff. And then also like my sister-in-law commenting, like we're so proud of you, blah, blah. I don't really remember her ever saying that to my face. So there's been a lot of comments that have actually meant a ton to me. Also what has stood out to me is that if I post sports stuff, I get really like sexualized and sometimes offensive comments from men. 
and then I post something about being a mom and I get offensive, rude, sad comments from women. You can't win. And I'll finish with this. One of my favorite quotes that I will always live by in this industry and just in life. In a room of 10 people, four people will like you, four people won't, and two won't care. I just think that's really good to go by. I don't expect to be everyone's cup of tea and I don't expect people to like my lifestyle, to want my lifestyle, to approve of my lifestyle and choices, but I, I think we're doing all right. And I'm really proud of how hard Sam works and I'm proud of how hard I work. And I've just got to think that that will instill some good values in our son. Mm. And bitches be bitches. Look who's back. Dad is back. And he's building Wolfie the hey, biggest, slide. best slide. I am helping. Yes, you are. I help. Careful, buddy. Not bad for some parents that hate your kid. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I already talked about that. Um, also, I got these new jammies from Cozy Earth. And I thought maybe Sam wouldn't like them because they look kind of grandma-ish. I love gills. Of gills, but they are amazing. They come in a couple colors in this pretty tall pattern. Perfect for dreaming of spring days ahead, which we are close. We are close, and they are so soft. You can use my code, uh, what is it, Decker40 for 40% off for the spring. They also come in blue, but I love this green. Um, yeah, use code Decker40. Sup, welcome to Super Bowl packing headquarters. Lots of sequins, lots of glitter, lots of blazers. It's Super Bowl week, baby, and I'm packing. Today is Tuesday. I leave Sunday, and if you think that's too early, you are wrong. I have so many events, Super Bowl week, that I need careful planning, all building up to, of course, my Super Bowl outfit, which I don't think I have yet. I have frantically been ordering new stuff from ASOS, and one just came, so I'm gonna do a little try on. I ordered a whole haul yesterday. It came, nothing fit. It was horrible. I've already returned that. That's why I love ASOS. It is next day delivery. Gets here so fast. Um, I can find anything at any price point. I can type in exactly what I'm looking for and find something. This is not an ad. I just love ASOS. And let's see what came in this new haul because I'm really hopeful my actual Super Bowl outfit is there. Plus, we have an event tomorrow night, more on that later, that I don't know what I'm wearing either. So I'm just needing some like cocktail dress attire um, with a touch of work professional flair. Let's see what we got. First, I'm really hopeful. I ordered these green pants, and before I even know if they fit, I'm mostly concerned they match. Oh, that's pretty good. What do you think? Oh, that looks really good on camera. It almost looks better on that than in person. This gorgeous blazer from The Eight Sign, which is a brand here in the UK that I've found that I love. And it comes with a matching, like, matchstick trouser. But I'm just feeling like, for the actual Super Bowl, I want something more dramatic, like a big flared pant. And I'm pretty impressed. This is a flare. Pretty impressed how well that matches. I wish they were the same material, and that ultimately might be what I don't like about it. But we will try that. As a backup, I ordered a very similar pant in navy, thinking that could go with the jacket too, if the green wasn't a perfect match. Ooh, these are a bit more formal. Oh, those are nice. Oh, it's like perfect navy. See, it's like a, a dark navy. There are many shades of navy. Yay, off to a good start. Here's the navy. Wow, are they long and a little big. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Oh, I like that. And this isn't the top that we're under. I should have we're under. Oh, I really like that. I think I have to keep these and get them hemmed. I think my alterations guy could do it quickly, but I need to decide then what shoe I'm wearing. These are the pants that come with it, which are amazing. They just, I don't love it all together. Really pretty. I'll link this. Okay, love these too. And the green is pretty damn spot on. These also fit much nicer, like they're much tighter. 
no pockets, elastic waist, may not need to be hemmed if I'm wearing a nice tall shoe, which, you know, it's a Super Bowl, so I'm planning on that. Okay, it's gonna be a hard pick. You can kind of see the blazer a little bit closer again. I like both the big pants, I gotta say. This is really, really cute, but way too small. What do you think? Like this is everything I love. This is like very me. But the buttons are like busting at the seams. Also the skirt, I thought it was like shorts under there, but it's not. I may reorder it, because I do really like it. I may reorder it in a bigger size, but not for this trip. I'm loving these. They fit like a glove. They're pretty snug, but that is what I want. They don't need any tailoring. This might be it, y'all. Oh, I think this is it. Okay, for a Vegas Super Bowl, this is pretty damn good. I feel so good in this. Wow. Here's the hole. Oh, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. This is so my Super Bowl outfit. I think with just a black pointed toe boot. Easy, done, fits like a glove. I'm really happy, oh my God. I'm trying to be quiet because we'll be sleeping right there. Like, yay, yay, yay. Puppy dog? Puppy dog? Puppy dog? Puppy dog? Puppy dog? Puppy dog? Hi, puppy dog. Hi. 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 That was nice. Hi. Hey. What's, what's, what's? A book. A book. Can I show her the book? book? Okay, we just finished up our in-home spray tan. Talk about convenience. I didn't even have to get a babysitter. That's amazing! And Wolfie was so good pushing the suitcase. You like it? And do you like how tan mom is? <laughs> so yeah, this is amazing. Thank you, Malika. And here's a little setup. What color did we do, so I can say? Express. Express, dark, or is it just one color? Amazing! Yay, yay, yay! One step closer to being ready for tonight. Before you say anything, <laughs> just know this will be showered off. So we did the express tan, like you heard Malika say. The suitcase had to go. Wolfie loved her equipment in the tent. Did you like that lady? Yeah, Malika was awesome. If you live in London, I'm gonna put her website here. It's her business. She's a mom of three girls, and she's just hustling. She's going all over London in her car, spray tanning Londons, Londoners. So, why am I getting a spray tan? Because we have a big event tonight. Let me tell you about it, but I wanna get a coffee. Okay, this really looks wild now that I'm looking at it. Um, so yeah, I will wash this off in about three hours to get ready for our event tonight. Um, I am so grateful that I found a mobile spray tan place because I don't have time for all these appointments. And this sounds so silly, but getting ready for Super Bowl this week, nails, hair, Botox, spray tan, it's a lot and Sam's gone like the whole week. So if I need to go to any of these places, I need a sitter. So it just makes everything expensive and complicated to book things and move appointments. And oh, so a spray tan at my own home is chef's kiss. So tonight we're going to a movie premiere, like a glamorous red carpet movie premiere. I'm so excited. It's the new Zac Efron movie, Iron Claw, at the Curzon Theater in Mayfair. So like a very kind of historic, cool, traditional London theater in Mayfair. Can't wait. Um, if you're familiar with the area, it's right by like Shepherd's Market, which is one of my favorite areas in Mayfair anyways. They have all these like tucked away little wine bars and restaurants. So I'm hopeful after the movie, maybe Amy and I can go grab a little tipple somewhere. That's right, Amy is coming with me tonight. Sam can't go, he's supposed to be my plus one. They're in Slovenia for three days. And Amy's coming and both of us are freaking out because we have nothing to wear. We have nothing to wear. And it's a red carpet event. Zac Efron's supposed to be there. We're walking the red carpet and yeah, I've like panic ordered on ASOS. I've ordered three ASOS orders in two days. I'm most excited that I feel like I nailed the actual Super Bowl game outfit, that sequin suit. Oh, so excited for that. Um, but tonight I wanna have like a killer outfit as well and it's just not coming together. My ASOS parcel should be coming, I think before noon. Tonight we're taking a wheelie, which is like a fancy Uber. Like it's like a legit driver, chauffeur, but you book it on your phone like an Uber. So I love that. It's so convenient, but you like get a really nice car. You get really great service. So we have that all sorted. Sitter tonight is sorted. Um, I'm doing my own hair and makeup. Blah. I just, I couldn't really 
I don't want to try a makeup artist and I, I do like doing my own makeup, I gotta say. I wish it was a date night, I wish Sam would be here, but you know, there's no one I'd rather hang out with than Amy as we just get into so much mischief together and go on so many adventures together. So add this to our long list. Now, for a very big shift in my day, I'm taking Wolfie to his church play group. So we'll sit there and I hope the other moms don't think I'm crazy with this tan. Look at this, you guys, holy cow. And we will go play with some of the kids and sing hymns and make crafts. And he just loves it there. After we went Sunday for our first like church service there and him going to the kids group, now they have a thing every Wednesday where they meet up. So I'm like, oh, we've got to go every Wednesday and Sunday if we can. But I want to get him in the church and I want him to meet other kids that way. And it's a great way to wear him out. Hey. Okay, I'll check back in when my ASOS delivery comes. Fingers crossed. Oh my God, the drama. It just came. I ordered like 10 dresses last night, late last night at the park with Wolfie from ASOS. And just before we're about to get ready and leave, so I can try them on in just a bit, but first, knocking out these interviews. I just did one with Associated Press with my dad for Super Bowl, and now jumping on one with TV Insider. And then Amy's coming over and we can start getting ready and have champagne and try on these dresses. But I'm ooh, so relieved they came. Doing great, how are you? Yeah, of course, thank you, sorry. Uh, Sorry, I've got this horrible background. I, I'm hiding from my child in the other room, and so I'm just, <laughs> my Super Bowl packing is taking over. Oh, that's a good question. It had to have been whenever he was in town doing an NFL game. I have so many, like, stories that no kids should have these experiences because they're so cool from the NBA All-Star game, especially. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Jack Nicholson, we sat next to once during an NBA All-Star game. Oh gosh, who else? Tiger Woods. Yeah, it, it, because we were so close, I just had such admiration for not only the work he did, but how he did it. Man, everyone's really interested in what dad does. Like, that's so cool. And I was just so drawn to the profession once I saw it in action. Okay, cute with the socks, right? Here is the first one little light pink blazer dress. I don't love what I'm seeing with this button. I would almost need to pin it. Chic and oversized it is. It would need a cool shoe. Am I up for that? Okay, here's the next one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this one. Wow. It's really pretty. Definitely hair up. Got a little peek move there. Okay. This one has got to be a joke. I keep looking to see if there's a clasp that I missed. No, this, <laughs> if I move my hand, no joke, it comes open to here. So no thank you, which is a shame because this is a really cool option for something that feels a little bit more trendy and less just like pageanty. Um, it's also really low cut and I just, I don't know. Okay, no. <laughs> Wearing the most bomb ass dress and new shoes from Zara. Zara, bitch. And we just bought some champs. And I still don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> what, what time is it, by the way? It is 20 past. Oh, God. Our car's in 10 minutes. And I don't know what I'm wearing. And I haven't done my hair yet. Yikes. Okay. It's 5.50. Our car was at 5.30. I hope he's still there. Um, but we're ready. And I decided on the black. <laughs> To Amy's, oh, you look amazing. <laughs> I'm laughing that we kind of look alike, that we both did like a... <laughs> um, this wig? No. And this cobblestone and these heels? This is a tall No. Um, but we are so excited for tonight. Neither of us brought a coat because we don't want to ruin. We didn't do all of this. Oh, please tell me the guy's still here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, not us bringing our own little mini champagne and being told we have to drink it before. Chugging a drink? I mean, to absolutely chug it. Good thing we're made for that. Cockroaches. You should have seen us too. We're like, yeah, sir, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably like, oh. We're not just gonna walk a red carpet, dead sober. Okay, now off we go to Mayfair. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, please say that again. Your wife was in the first Harry Potter film. Which, like, Chamber of Secrets? Is that the, the first, first one? one, because he's from what we said. My wife was in the first Harry Potter film. And she said, and um, when lockdown was on, Apple said, here's the, uh, you know, the Randall film. Yeah. And the clip that they all showed is my wife on it. It's not very exciting. And, uh, not as exciting as Cat. <laughs> Prince of Wales is four and a half years. Wow. The king, the now king. Yes. No, I got that. <laughs> Can you hem my pants next time? I need a hem. <laughs> are you? Are you still? Are you still his tailor? No, because I. Um, <coughs> he screw the letter up. We didn't finish that story. What did the letter, no, did. What did the letter well, say? Well, the problem is I have a lovely wife and yes. I have my objectives in life. And uh, basically, Royal Highness is very kind. I wrote him a letter and said, can we do this job anymore? And uh, because I'm moving away and all this, he yeah. sent me a very nice letter. And I go out and say, no, it's so sweet. That this Extra. <laughs> and uh, my wife is very cool. Oh. Was your wife a fan of the royal family? Uh, maybe. She was in Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. You are a fascinating fellow. Cheers to you, our new friend. Thank you for sharing your corner with us. You're welcome. <laughs> I think he smells your snacks. You go say hi. <laughs> it's a dog. Say hi. He sees mama. <laughs> okay, how cute was that little dog and Wolfie with the little dog. Just the sweetest. And look at this amazing day. This is gorgeous. So we are soaking up the sunshine, trying to get rid of my little champagne fuzzy headache. Um, but last night was just so amazing and Amy and I had so much fun. Amy is so sweet and appreciative of any experience like that because on the way there she kept saying, I used to dream of this as a little girl. Like, I this is a dream come true. I never thought I'd be on a red carpet. I never thought I'd go to a movie premiere. So she is the perfect person to like go enjoy this stuff with. And I'm so glad she came with me. I'm so glad I wore the black dress and not the sparkly dress. I think I would have felt like silly in that really sparkly dress but you better believe it's coming to vegas with me because no sparkles are silly in vegas but, um i thought zach efron was gonna be there and he wasn't there god oh i would have loved that so zach efron missed his chance to hang out with amy and i for the night maybe the best part of the whole night is after the movie we were in shepherd market which is this area in mayfair i love and we were starving and i knew of this lovely little french restaurant called Le artiste Mussel and there's only five tables in the whole restaurant and we last minute made a reservation for 9 30 and it ended up being perfect and so cozy and so intimate and they didn't even like really give us a chance to order they were like you need to put your food order in now and we just both said steak frites and a bottle of cotteron bravo it was raining outside candlelit like it just the whole night felt like a little fairy tale and then we popped over for a drink at this like really cute pub right next door and we got a little bit more prosecco just to cheers off our fun night <laughs> it got me i mean like extra sweet it's almost like he knows i have to leave again <laughs> go up oh, oh, oh. I got you home. Ra da 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 da
<laughs> I knew people were looking at me funny on the train. Look at my Botox bumps. Actually didn't get any in my chin this time, just my forehead. But if you've gotten Botox before, you know right where they do the incision, it kind of swells up like a mosquito bite right after. So Botox, check it off the list. Ran there, ran back, have a sitter. Now I've got to do my BetMGM show. And then Sam gets home tonight. So today's been a little wild. I went to bed last night at like 2 a.m. Wolfie was up at 7.30. I've been full mom mode right when I got him down for nap. When usually like, if I'm not that busy, I like to lay down myself then, but I had so much to do. I feel like a little inundated right now. I feel swarmed right now. I told Sam, I was like, I'm about to lose it. I wanna throw my phone out the balcony. This rush to Super Bowl is crazy. The interviews I was doing last night that I so hurriedly tried to finish up before I could get ready for the event, which we were still running late to. Dress is coming late, like that whole saga. Now I have it like again tonight with the Bed MGM show. And then I have another interview right after. And I'm just trying to like keep everything in orbit. Okay, seriously, you guys look at this sky. Holy cow, is that amazing. It looks like cloudy, like strawberry milk over there. There's the London cable car going across the Thames. There's O2, there are the Uber boats. There's Canary Wharf. This view just never gets old, but the sky, my word. Oh, that has put me in a good mood. I've been so overwhelmed and like just needing a second to breathe. Lovely. Thank you, God. Okay, I am just finishing up. My Botox bumps are gone. I just did a little cold compress that helped and then just a touch of concealer. Um, didn't really do my full makeup, just a little bit of that Charlotte Tilbury concealer just to look a little camera ready, but I didn't wanna just touch my face a lot, right? After I got the Botox. But I just finished up our Bed MGM YouTube show and just finished up an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Why do I still have these in? And that went really well. It's funny because you start to just repeat yourself. I've done so many interviews about what it's like to you know cover the Super Bowl with my dad and how it's feeling and our story and all this. And I'm forgetting what details I'm saying to which interview. <laughs> so I feel like I'm like kind of like a broken record, like I'm on repeat. It's been fun. I feel a little spread thin. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty beat. Fun as last night was, it was probably a lot to squeeze it in on this busy week. I'm home for 12 days in between in the States for playoffs and going back to the States for Super Bowl, 12 days. And Sam's gone, I think seven of those. No joke. He was gone three days in Birmingham, England for a tournament, and then now three days in Slovenia. So I've been like single momming it at home, missing my husband, not seeing my husband. He gets back tonight, so I'm very excited. But, and this is silly, I, I understand this part's trivial, but like make sure I have all the right things for each outfit. And like just today I found out I'm doing red carpet at NFL Honors. Okay, so <laughs> need an outfit for that. Although thank God I did all those ASOS deliveries because the sparkly like high neck, that's what I'm gonna do for red carpet for NFL Honors, can't wait. So the rest of my packing I will show you. Um, but for now, I'm, I am done with work for the day. I'm looking forward to Sam getting home. The sitter's gonna come back up with Wolfie. They had to be outside while I did all these interviews. And then I think tonight we're gonna order in some Indian food. That just sounds so cozy and nice. And bunker down, and guess what? Sam leaves again tomorrow. No joke. Spending the night, a game in Newcastle. Like, you can't make this up. <laughs> we're just ships passing in the night. and. The, the good thing is I am savoring every second I have with Wolfie. He has been extra sweet and extra cute and just has me wrapped around his finger. And I think because I was gone so long and I'm about to leave again, I just feel really sappy and like sentimental and I'm just trying to be so present. But I'm also like, every time I pick this thing up, someone has another ask or request of me. And, um, you know, I'm trying to prep for the game. Like it's almost, there's so much going on. That I forget that I'm actually covering the game and I have to prep for it, but that's what the flight's for. I keep telling myself I will do, you know, 11 hours of research for the Super Bowl in the air. Okay, let me order this Indian food and await my boy's arrival. Bye. Look who's home. Ding, ding, ding. Me. Dad is home. Ordering Indian food. Ordering Indian food. Wolfie Woo. <laughs> you think that's funny? 
That is my parent travel hat. Now you want to push it. Okay, good night. All is well. We're all home for 24 hours. Less than that. Trying on this amazing jumpsuit that just got here from the 8 sign, which I'll link because it's a British brand I found since living over here. And they're like all about kind of sexy professional wear, which is a genre I appreciate. But it fits like a glove. It's amazing. I was just saying to Sam, it looks like perfect for a Packers Super Bowl maybe next year. Fingers crossed. But guess what Sam said? He said, are you going to wear anything with it? And I said, well, what do you mean? Like, obviously not like this. It's, what, 9 a.m. right now? I just threw it on. And he said, well, so you wouldn't wear those socks, would you? <laughs> no, I won't wear these socks. Are you going to wear those shoes to a wedding? Probably. You never know. Why? Like, what was going through your head when you no, just asked me that? I, was, I meant, like, it's hard for me to picture it without, like, the full, like, oh. shoes, hair. Oh, okay. You guys are so funny. Okay, I had to just lay everything out so I can visualize, and then I'm gonna go through my planner, every event, every on-camera thing, everything we've got, and start designating, and I'm gonna write down which outfit goes for which event. I think this is enough. I might need to throw a couple in there, and then I'm gonna have a couple, like, what I'm gonna call alternates, which is an outfit that I'd feel good wearing anywhere, in a pinch, need be, something I know fits, I know is comfortable, if I need to run to do a quick stand up, a shot, and that is actually something I wanted to link because I could not believe these pants. You know I love a long black flared pant, and the ones that I've been wearing for, no joke, five, six years have gotten so gray in the wash. So I ordered these on Amazon, and they are like, or sorry, on ASOS, and they're like the tall kind of ASOS. Holy cow, are they long. Like I'm 5'8", these are a little too long. Actually, when I get back to London, I might hem them a bit, but they are so flattering. They're like stretchy, and they have this like contour. I didn't even realize until later when I took them off, but they do have this like butt contour. I texted them to my friend Amy and was like, you've got to order these. These like are million dollar pants, and no joke, I think they were 20 pounds. Maybe even less, maybe like 15. They were so cheap and they are like as good as I've ever felt in a pair of jeans. They're amazing. So if I bring these with like three different top options, I know I'll feel like confident and comfortable. These two little sequin cocktail dresses, you saw that one that I was going to wear to the premiere the other night. Really glad I didn't because um, it's just gonna be so perfect and appropriate in Vegas. And then the feathers of this one. This is just a Zara blazer that I think looks cute over that dress. And both of those are ASOS as well. So these two are from the 8 sign. This might sound crazy, but I like doing green knowing that both teams are red. And here's why. I just, I don't want to wear red because either way you're going to conflict with one of the shades of one of the team and kind of blend in. So if I do more blues and greens, it's like opposite color wheel. Looks nice against red. I always kind of have that in the back of my mind when planning outfits for games. Like I never want to wear one team's color, obviously, but also if I can, I'd like to wear almost like the opposite. It's so cute. This company, Giovanna London. Um, when I had more in town, we went to their store in Notting Hill and it's oh, amazing. I got these shorts tailored. So they fit like a glove, like high-waisted, pleated, really like um, voluminous shorts. They look so cute with this vest, the pearl detail. So the last thing I need to do for this is decide what shirt I'm wearing under. I was kind of playing with the idea of doing like black turtleneck, maybe black tights. So these are some of the looks. Talking the most important thing. Two case. Two case. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Little packing tip. So these like Louboutin boots are some of my favorite boots and I so badly want them to stay nice. And I can't find the bag that they came in, like the dust bag like this. So I just wrapped them with a little bit of tissue paper. And then in here I put shoes and bag that go together for formal events. Keep those together. In here, I put some Gucci tennis shoes in this bag, but then you see I did paper towel 
in um, in between the handles in the bag because that will press on the canvas. So I'm just like not taking any risks. And these packing bags are really nice because after you stuff it, you can really get it tight and that's just gonna help you, see how it has like a double zip? That's going to help make this really compact. So in there is a bag and shoes that go together. And then in here I have socks and bras and then zipped it as flat as possible. Another thing, that white suit set, I am so worried will get messed up by something in the suitcase, so I'm giving that its own little bag and making sure it's all flat. I just don't want to take any chances. Someone made a last minute addition and I don't have the heart to take it out. But I worry now we're bringing a full fleet. Wow. Did a little drugstore run to get ready for things to keep in the room, like some snacks. Stuff with fiber, protein. Here's a vitamin boost, like effervescent tablet that has zinc and tons of vitamin C, vitamin D. I don't know how much I'll even be outside. Really good stuff in that one. I compared the ingredients in this one to some similar ones and that one just looked like it was chock full of good stuff. Tons of masks, eye masks, all this stuff just to keep my skin plump. Of course, some lashes. I've never tried these ones, but I'll try anything once. I got these Velcro rollers because my plan is to kind of curl my hair and then set it in these while I'm doing work in my hotel room. I don't typically use rollers, but I'm wanting to. Um, Brazil nuts are so good for you, so I just want to throw that in my bag on my travel day. And then some lion's mane for the morning for some energy and focus. And the best clip anyone has ever had. I love this one so much. I think I have, I think this is my third I've bought. I've lost one. Right now I currently can't find one, but I don't want to admit I've lost it quite yet. But man, do I love this clip. It has the grippies on the inside, so it just is really strong. Just don't want to be without that.